guys, Quentin Tarantino here. Uh, welcome back to my review of uh, Day Live, all right? Uh, oh, you like that? Sorry, what the fuck is going on with me? Okay. Um, back to this fucking movie review. I swear to God, I've been doing this movie review for fucking ages now. I still my head in. So, I love that scene between Keith David and... Um, I was about to say Obi-Wan Kenobi for some fucking reason. <laughs> I love the bit scene between Keith David and Roddy Piper, uh, where the scene's like, "Oh, I'll show you the place," and they're they're sitting down, they're doing some work or whatever, and they're sitting down looking at the city and outside, and all that stuff, and essentially they're like, um, you know, it's like, "Yo, you got family back?" He's like, "Oh no, I don't really." He's like, "I've got a family back at home, got a wife and kids, and all that." I, I do anything for them. Haven't seen them in years. It's hard, but you got to do it. It's like, really? So do you know what they do with that? It's like, what? They do like this. It's like, oh, cool. And I like that little bond and human moment between them before things go to shite. And they start eating the things. They start eating. And it's lovely. You get some brilliant shots of the city. Oh, my God. It's absolutely gorgeous. I tell you. You have to see the fucking film to understand the just movie. And to lay the cinematography and the look of it, it's fucking splendid, hey? So, yeah. That's, that's, I love that. Um, part of it and uh, I love when when he brings them to the place you know the homeless place at night like the when it's at night time and the homeless place or whatever uh, the homeless shelter place whatever the f whatever the fuck I'm going to be right I can't know what I fucking want it, right sorry <laughs> anyway so I love that um, part like Oh, do you mind? I'm trying to fuck up the little villa. Right, so I love that part. Um, as it adds a lot of human quality to the, the film and the subject. Sorry. So it adds a lot of um, tension. No, tension. Fuck it. See, see what I mean? I get distracted. So they go there and we get great shots of it, great shots of everything. Because people are going around doing things like, oh yeah, and the priest's like, oh, you're coming in here, it's coming in here. It's like, yeah. That's great, and then so you see the thing on TV. These things are coming, and they're taking over, and just all these great like shots of things going on. I was like this is where you be. You can sleep here. You can sleep over there. It's like, thank you, uh, thanks a lot for that and all that. Oh, um, you can sleep in there. It's like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. That thank you and all that, and it's just it's brilliant. And I gotta say, Roddy Piper's acting is great. Like for WWE stars, technically not an actor, he does a great job in this film. Um. But you're there and there's people watching the TV and the, no, just before that, there's a regular TV show on and then it goes all static. He's like, and he goes like, they're coming, they're all going to invade. It's like, God damn it, this guy again. It's like, I tried to watch this last night and it was the same old shit and all that. And they're like, oh, fuck me up the bum, 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 bum. It's like, and the guy's just looking, it's like, they're going to come, they're taking over. And he's kind of like, what is this crap? It's like, I don't know. And everyone's kind of gathering around and there's a sofa. Like, I like the way there's like a, an old sofa there. It's a nice little atmosphere vibe. And as I said, it brings homey vibe to a place that shouldn't be like that. And it's like, oh my God. It's like, they're coming, they're coming. It's like, God, this, turn this crap off. It's like, yeah. And then he looks over there. It's like, what's going on over there? And there's people walking. It's like, I don't know. So he's walking over, just checking the place out at night and having meetings and all this sort of shit um and he's, he's like you better off not going over there it's not really any of your business like oh really what's so bad about it and all that so i like the setup and the, the chemistry that these two have but um then of course you get the next day where you get the guy going oh it's great to meet you you know i was like oh yeah yeah sure it's like yeah it's great to meet you boys you want to do that it's like oh yeah yeah you know he's talking to this guy who's kind of fishy and a bit overly nice like in a fake way he's like oh yeah great and then he comes across this other guy he's like what are you guys doing over there so we're going here, over here you want to join this it's like no thank you it's like come on this is about living man it's like well you can't go over there it's like and expect us not to wonder what it is or just all, all this kind of dialogue and it's like well, well you gotta start living man and all this kind of shit this is about the future and all something like that and um, i'm not getting the dialogue right and i do apologize if i'm waffling but it is i like those little character moments i like those little bits of dialogue moments i think they're very strong and as i said the look and the cinematography it has that john carpenter feel and style and all that but um now let's get on to the scene that i absolutely 
fucking adore in this film. Uh, I love not only when when Roddy Piper finds out and he's there, he's going, oh, shooting them, fucking people up. It's like, pew, pew, as people die. And then he sees people walking and they're all grey faced and like, they're onto us, he's onto us. And he's like, oh, pew, pew, and he's fighting in the streets, like, come on, stop it. Like, put it down. And the cop stares, go, he's like, and he goes, get away. He's like, what? It's like, I know you're a real cop. You can go. He's like, okay. He, he's like, but he hits him, punches him, takes him, gets, go gets his gun. He's like, you can go because you're a real cop. He's like, okay, runs off or whatever. But you're under arrest for this. Like, we'll get you for this. He's like, yeah, whatever. You know. But um, as I said, a scene that I absolutely love is when he rolls in the hill. And he, he runs all the way back and he ends up finding... Keith David, and Keith David's like there, he's like, hey, here, I need a shot, he's like, no, 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 you gotta stay away from me, I have a wife and kids, and I do not want them to be hurt, I do not want to be affiliated with you, associated with you, he's like, no, you gotta listen to me, you killed those people, those people were aliens, I'm telling you, there's some weird, fucked up thing going on, and he's like, you gotta back the fuck off, there's nothing, just put these on, it's like, I'm not putting them on, put them on, it's like, look, man, you gotta leave me alone, and just get out of here, so they're walking all the way to this place, it's like, parking lot, Put on the glasses. He's like, no, god damn it. I'm not putting these fucking glasses on. And you just get this really great moment. It's like, put them on. No, put them on. Oh my God, my eyes got all fucking weird there. Hold on. Speaking of, they live. Whoa. Anyway, so, yeah, essentially, he's like, stop it. And then he's like, come on, do something. He's like, come on. And he's like, give it to me. And, and Keith David just punches him and he falls back. And he's like, oh, shit. And they're kind of like, oh, fuck. Some shit's going down. And he gets up. He's like, come on, stop it. Punch him again. He's like, come on. Then he hits him back. He's like, oh, man, I'm sorry. He's like, punching and fucking hitting. And then this scene, I think, goes on for about four or five fucking minutes. But it is excellent it's brilliantly done they also i think it's also the fact that roddy piper was a wrestler and they need to kind of add some of that shit in but he's there like punching him he's like put on the glasses he's like no put them on he's like stop it i'll put them on i'll fuck i'll break them he stops like no don't you ruin it he's like no put them on he's like put them on he's punching and then he's going underneath him and he's talking them down he flips them over and they're hitting each other and there's people looking like stop what's happening he's like nothing hits a smashes stuff over his head smash him gets this wooden thing fuck you hits him he's about to hit him with a fucking um bottle he goes ah smashes it keith david smashes it and roddy pop is like <laughs> he's like oh shit sorry accidentally hits him he's been hitting with wood he's like oh shit ducks smashes the car he's like oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so sorry man you son of a bitch and just they're at each other and at each other's like put them on put the fucking glasses on and all that and eventually he gets them and when he's on the ground puts them down like there here you go you see looks up and he's like and looks over sees the, the girls like that they're on to us I was like, what? And he's like, whoa, what, what are they? He's like, now do you believe me? He's like, holy shit, what's going on? And it's just this epic moment that they build up to and the fight scene manages to keep you invested and you're like, holy fucking shit, it's amazing. So you get that and they're walking around. It's like, what's happening? we got to put them on or whatever. It's like, Jesus, my eyes are hurting. It's like, yeah, don't keep them on too long. It'll fuck up your eyes. Yeah, no shit. He looks up. He's like, whoa, what is that? It's like a UFO. What's creating these people? We think it could be the TV thing. We gotta fi figure out what's going on. It's like, okay. So they're walking around. It's like, so what's happening? It's like, these are people. Where are they coming from? It's like, I don't know. We gotta figure out what's going on. So they're like, we gotta go somewhere. A hotel. Okay, let's go. He opens, like, look, man. I don't know what the hell's going on or whatever, but we gotta do something. He's like, yeah, I know. We gotta figure out a way to stop and get weapons. Look, man, I don't know what to be part of this. Okay, well, if you don't want to be part of this, what happens if all these things come up? They take over. And he's like, I don't know. Do you want your wife and kids to be upset? It's like, of course I don't, God damn it. But we gotta do this. So then I like, oh shit, they're gonna team up and fuck these bad guys up. And I like the mix of like, this is a movie that I feel like has both of John Carpenter's genres. It's a horror film because it's creatures they're fighting, there's scary elements, it's gory parts. But it's an action film as well and elements of comedy, comedy as well. Um... Because that's the two genres he seems to do the most with. Um, horror. And by the way, that movie I mentioned with Chevy Chase's Memoirs of an Invisible Man. I, uh, yeah, 
I forgot the title. I was looking at a John Carpenter list yesterday. It's my eyes. Maybe I'm one of these things. Ooh. But as I said, the way it transitions from black and white to colour, you know, when he puts the glasses on, it's very well done. The going's like, okay, we've got to walk down. So then the walking down's like, okay, we've got to go this way. And then we got to figure out what's happening. We've got to go on. And then he runs into another one of the guys. It's like, yo, man. He's like, yeah. Um, but also, I love how they team up right afterwards. Like, what are we going to do? It's like, they're on to us. Grab them. And it's like, come on. And then they're like, grab, grab. and then it's like, grab a gun. And he's like, shit. And Keith David's a badass and fucking Roddy Piper's there. Like, oh, shit. And they're both partners. And like, get him, go. You're a regular cop. You can go. It's like, okay. Okay, you got to go. Get out of here. He's like, pew, pew, pew. He's like, what the fuck, man? What's happening? I don't know. Pew, just one over there. Pew, pew. And then one puts on the glasses and the other's like, over there. Pew. You know, that one, she's one. It's like, they're on the most. Pew. And it's just, you get these great fucking action sequences and it just combines the horror and action really well together in this film. So, the guy comes across, he's like, he says Keith Davis car's name. He's like, you? He's like, well, then they're in the hotel. He's like, what are they? He's like, we, we've been spotting this for a while. That's what we were doing back there. He's like, oh, really? He's like, yeah. How many are there? It's like, there's a lot. Why did you stop? Do, why did you stop it? It's like, oh, I don't know. Because if too many people knew, you know, because the whole world would have been put in danger. Like, come on, follow me, gentlemen. And then we get into more of the, the background. And it's like, come on, follow me. Like, okay, so they go in and they they officially, Keith Dave and Roddy Piper officially are put into this gigantic group that's led by these people. And they're like, oh, fuck, that's fucking great, you know? And they're like, so here it is, like, here he goes, okay, cool. It's like, don't worry, it's like, how do we know everyone? Don't worry, guys, we're all human in here. Here we go, here's all the weapons. And you get, it's like, holy shit. All these machine guns and guns are like, yeah, pick, take your pick. It's great. It's like, yeah, hold on. Try these on. We made these for you. It's like, what are they? It's like, they're contacts. You don't want to wear the glasses too long or whatever. It's like, okay. You know, fuck up your eyes. And they put them in. It's like, come on. They put them in. Put them in. It's like, wow, wow. They look. And it's like, whoa. And you see the black and white. And it's a great idea. And it's like, oh, shit. Now they can take them down without wearing glasses. Um, which, as I said, the final act, I will get to that. Because this, from this point out, the movie gets action-packed. It gets crazy. And I mean crazy in the best way possible. Um, so I love that, you know. And then the, the girl's there. It's like, okay, I'm, I'm here. Like, it's like, oh. It's like, she's like, oh. And he's like, I'm, you two know each other? It's like, yeah. It's like, whoa. And he goes, uh, I'll leave you two alone. It's like, I'm really sorry. I didn't. He's like, hey, I'll see you again. It's like. I'm really sorry I didn't listen to you. No, it's okay. It's okay. I should have known. I should have listened to you. It's like, it's fine. And then you're like, here's the gun. What do we do? We're going to take them out. We're going to take them out this way. It's like, okay. It's like, nice to meet you. It's like, yeah, nice to meet you too. And it's like, I love that you think, okay, it's so typical. They're going to get together. <laughs> no, this girl is not to be trusted. And I love the little plot twist at the end of this film. I think it's excellent. It's brilliantly done. Um, as I said, they're there, like, come on, let's go. So, like, okay, so what we're going to do is we got to go this way. It's like, these things are going to attack. And Roddy Piper saying that, right? They're going to attack. They're going to do things. Okay, we got to figure out a way to stop it. We got to do it this way, that way, that way. It's like, okay, that's fine. We're going to do it this way. All right, because then, as you saw, we had the scene earlier with the, the cops and the, the, the big... <laughs> with explosions, action scene. Brilliant fucking practical effects, as I said, just amazing. Uh, brilliantly done, as I said. Um, so you get that, and then, like, you have, right after, it's like, okay, let's go. Everybody, let's go, and then out of nowhere, big explosions, no! And then everyone's there, like, oh, shit! Like, people coming in, like, oh, fuck! And people getting blown away and shot, and there's gore, like, what the fuck? And it's gory, and it's fucking brilliantly done and they're like oh shit grab them they're shooting and it's like come on let's go let's go and they're all shooting back they're like come on stop them come on let's do it and all that shit and then you just get this fucking badass he's like come on is she okay he's like leave her man leave her it's like you can't leave her and they're like and they're coming in about entrances like oh shit and then they're running out into the alleyway and they're like come on and then they're upstairs going and he's just there 
and like oh shit like fucking shooting fucks a guy a guy falls and people coming in driving into the fucking alleyway like, oh shit pew 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 and just for 1988 the fucking action is unbelievable they're like come on man fucking shoots on shotgun shoot machine guns fucking wow it's amazing it's so brilliantly done and that scene goes on for a while like oh shit come on get him kill him and then they're looking they see it in black and white like get him they're on to us and like get him they're over there they're over there they're over there and then they're like pew, 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 and all that running away they're shooting people are falling over um, and you're there kind of like oh fuck so they're running like come on let's go we gotta get down here and then they they crawl they're shooting it goes on for a while they go down into this fucking sewer place like what is it it's like i think we're under the city it's like the subway yeah come on let's go and they're running as people and i believe there's people there like oh shit and they're like whatever it's like where are we gonna go it's like we gotta go up here and it's like the dialogue and, and then this is kind of where you start to figure out what's going on properly you know the whole plan yet sort of unveiled and revealed in a really creative way um that I, I think that it was done so brilliantly and effectively and i'm like oh shit so it's like come on we gotta go and they're looking up it's like what is that and you get the tv stations and i'm like oh yeah we gotta do this yeah let's do it now and it, it comes to them like that it's like we gotta broadcast like we gotta do this now and the guy, the guy from here is like we're gonna do this now quick and then as they're walking or whatever they're running into this place they see a whole this kind of like hotel party lobby and they get in, they're like, yeah, and they're like, oh, and they, get, they get in, like, whatever, I don't even think, I don't even think they shoot, I think they actually just, they just sneak in, and like, so we have it here, we have the assistant, and then they're looking around, and everyone's clapping, like, and they, like, with the fucked up faces, in black and white, like, yeah, and then he's like, and the guy behind them, the guy from earlier is like, hello, boys, it's nice to see you again, he's like, the hell, he's like, yeah, great of you for, for you to join the party at the TV, it's great to be part of us, it's like, yeah, what or whatever is like yeah we love this and then they they walk up it's like let me show you what's going on so we had this whole idea to bring in this thing with tv and all this other stuff and then you get the whole backstory and it's done really well it's not like it's exposition but it's, it's good exposition it's explored perfectly brilliantly and it's just really well done um so as they're walking like yeah so here it is with the tv station like yeah so here it is it's like nice speech. It's like yeah, and here's the thing that we do, and there we get this kind of sci-fi element as well, which I, another thing I love. Um, it's like here it is that they come from outer space. So then you get. Sorry, my laptop has been acting up, and I was just wondering. Um. Uh, what should we call it? Then, uh, what do we call it? Um, you see this kind of spaceship going, and it's transporting people there. It's like, yeah, let's go. It's like, Spain's like, how's that work? It's like, no, and this way. So they're showing, touring around. It's like, yeah, here it is, and here's the TV station, and it's showing people broadcasting and all that. It's like, this is the thing that lets the satellite lets them go, and then you have the helicopters like, as well flying over. See, and you also had that earlier on in the movie. They're flying over to kind of the um homeless place and they're looking up and even during the cops the, the cops are coming out with helicopters and the tanks like oh, in the scene and come down and shoot and, and then like same with um the scene where the where roddy piper and all they're shooting at them, like whatever so they're coming down flying around the city about to, it's like oh yeah let's do this like here it is we're starting, we're starting to broadcast, yeah, and then as you look in the mask, you see the alien face, it's like, so we're about to start, five, four, three, two, one, it's like, what are we going to do, and then he's like, here's what we're going to do, and all that, and I love, by the way, that one scene where uh, Roddy Piper and Keith David just go, with the shotgun, machine guns, where are your passes, here, yeah, I think, well, that's what happens, there's like, security men left, I'm like, and they're like, oh, shit, running in the hallways, they're like, oh, fuck, grab him. it's like, what's happening, come on, and like, and all that, and then um, he's like, where are your passes, and the two of them just pull out machine guns, here, that's fucking badass, like, that, all of those action scenes are just fucking badass, and the lions, 
are fucking badass. As I said, the, the line earlier, Mama don't like Tattletales. I love that. But they're walking up and like, you know, people in the hobbies, come on, come on. And it's like, what's happening? And the girl's there and they run in. It's like, Paul, it's like, oh yeah, it's great to see you. Come on. You know, and then she's kind of shooting, pow, pow, whatever. Um, but they walk up and they're like, here's what's happening. And then he pulls the gun. It's like, stop it. You're going to go and get the TV station. It's like, no, I can't. It's like, we're going to do it. We're going to do it now. Okay. Run. It's like, run. It's like, pow, pow, pow. it's like, oh shit. No, what's happening? No. And it's like, get them and all that. And then. The guy's like, oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And the pony's like, you don't fucking try anything stupid. He's like, okay, guys, you can't do this. You please, we're trying to save the world. Please, he's like, no, you're not, and all this. And then there's people in like the, the office building, like, gotta get them, we gotta fucking get them. And you get this great moment where they're like, what's happening? It's like, yeah, sort of running in. Um, and they're like, get them. And they're like running through the hallways, like, oh shit. And they meet up with the woman, it's like, hello, who's there? And then, you know, you cut to people in the office building, like, oh, it's a great night. Oh, it is, yeah. And all that, and they're like, let's do it. And they're just like, oh shit. And it's like this amazing fucking shootout tour it off that they're like, oh fuck. And it's like, let's go. It's like, what's happening? They're, they're here. People, don't be alarmed. We have to go get some people. They're like, ah, oh, and they're all shooting. Like, come on, get the fuck out. There's people in the building and all, and all that shit. And then they're trying to go down the elevator, like, get to the elevator quick. And they're getting in the elevator, like, and all that. And they're like, oh shit, no. So they're in the elevator, come on, let's go. And then they're running out and they're shooting, fucking shooting. <laughs> fucking shooting everywhere. That's amazing. And like, I love the the, the office kind of setting. That's nice. Like, come on, we're running through. I was like, come on, get out of here. And they're running in and they're like, come on. And they're like, ah, with the guns. And they're like, come on, where are you? It's like, sorry, folks, we, we just got to uh, get through. And it's like, where is this? It's like, it's, it's here or whatever. It's like, okay, go this way. It's like, yeah, sure. It's like, okay, and they're shooting aliens and they're running through. Like, we just got to go this way. Okay, bye. Have a nice day. Running and they're like, and they meet up to go. Come on, let's go. Like, yeah, let's go. And then they're running. It's like, come on, there's people here for fuck's sake. Block the elevators. And then they're running through the top floor. It's like, oh, shit. And they're, and they're jumping over, jumping over. And they're like, where are they? It's like the top floor. And then they're running up. It's like, come on, get them, get them. And they're on the top. And they're running down and all that. It's like, oh, dear, come on, let's go. And it's like, okay. Then it's the three of them. It's, it's um, he, it's Roddy Piper, Keith David, and the woman, like Meg, what's her name again? Foster. And they're like, okay, let's go. And they're, they're going, pew, pew, and they're running up, like, come on. Okay, you go up top floor, you stay here. Okay, let's go. And then Meg Foster just fucking pulls a gun and shoots um, Keith David, like, oh, fuck. And then as people are like, come on, open the elevator, and they're going, shooting or whatever. He runs up, he's like, come on. And he, shoot and he's like yeah go and he's trying to blow up the fucking satellite and then the girl's like not so fast and he's like fuck it's like i have to do this it's like i don't want to do this don't make me kill you he's like i i have to it's like does it and he goes Pah! shoots him Pah! and he goes fucking shoots him blows up causes the everything to be exposed and like such a ballsy fucking ending because he dies being a hero which makes him more likable the fact that they didn't do the cliche thing of having her be the love interest. She was actually, in some ways, kind of the main villain. The great action scene with the SWAT teams and the hallways and going through the office. And still having a great sense of humor. Like, oh, sorry, folks. Like, sorry about this. And they have guns. Like, it's just brilliantly done. And then you get this great meta like, scene. Like, everyone's going around. Like, oh, what's happening? The place blown up. They're like, what? What? And then they see them for who they really are. They're like, ah! Because then when they're in the office, they say, oh, yeah, yeah. They see the people as aliens and they run away and stuff. Like, oh, what's that? And then they're on the news part. Like, oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, that's awful. And they're like, kids are like, mommy, what's wrong with that guy? And there's people in the bar going, I tell you, violence in this mo in movies today is awful. And it's the one of the aliens talking. Directors like George A. Romero and John Carpenter should be cancelled. And I like that little meta joke that they have. And they're there. And then there's a couple having sex. Like, oh, yeah. She just hits uh, her tits out. Like, oh, yeah. And you're, they're just there like, she's like, <gasps> and she's like, what? What's wrong, baby? And the movie ends. It's just brilliantly done. Brilliant comedy. Brilliant action. Brilliant visual effects. Brilliantly directed. I even love the opening, as I said, where he's walking around the city. And he goes to that job. He's like, have you worked there before? He's like, oh, no. You've worked here? No. Well, we're not hiring at the moment, you know. And the way the title pops up and the music, the end credit music, it's just brilliant. John Carpenter's made another classic, brilliant um, directing, brilliant music, and just overall an amazing film.
They Live is a classic and I love it. 10 out of 10. That was my movie review, They Live. I'll see you guys later. Bye.